We turn now to our stuff that happened a really, really, really long time ago correspondent, Kent Jones. Hi, Kent. What do you got? Uh, hi, Rachel. Stuff from really, really long time ago. <laughs> uh, exciting fossil news at the Museum of Natural History today. Okay. Check it out. All right. Meet your great, 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 a thousand times great grandmother Ida. Ida is a perfectly preserved fossil that could be the missing link between humans and apes. And now, after 47 million years, she's famous. After a splashy coming out party in New York today, books, documentaries, TV specials are all in the works about this pre-Jurassic it girl. Paleontologists are still in the early, gushy part of the Roman. This specimen is really like finding the lost ark for archaeologists. Do you realize what the ark is? Ida was three feet long, sort of cat-like, with fingernails and opposable thumbs, which would explain this. Ida is part of the line that includes monkeys and apes. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! And eventually, us. You're a slutty-ass actor. I don't have any slutty-ass actor. Scientists say Ida's hind legs led to primates standing upright, a breakthrough that could finally confirm Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. <laughs> we, the people of the United States, which needs defending from time to time. Thanks, Ida. You look great. <laughs> wow. Okay. Cat-like, but with opposable mm -hmm. thumbs. Had opposable thumbs and fingernails, and apparently could stand upright, paving the way for all the primates that followed, including us. Yeah. You know, when I first got together with Susan, she had a cat that was about 40 years old. Right. And I used to have nightmares that that cat would walk around on its hind legs and kill me. <laughs> that was like my recurring nightmare. Come here. I really Come here. like this person that I've just met in my life, but that cat! And my recurring nightmare was that Meow Meow would come stalk me somehow. I'm like, anyways, you've ruined that for me. I think it's all fine. I think you're going to be fine. <laughs>